It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Philadelphia is known for having some very vocal fans, and nearly 70,000 of them are letting their voices be heard already. Welcome inside Lincoln Financial Field. And everybody, thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune in to. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football, not just throwing the rock, They'll take it at themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Jake Elliott is out, ready to kick this one away. And we're underway from Philadelphia. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. And leading them out, it's the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Jaden's the closest thing we've seen to Lamar Jackson. While there's only one Lamar Jackson, the two-time MVP, Jane's going to push him a little bit in this league. He is a tremendous athlete. Over 1,000 yards rushing down the SEC, and he's just got the instincts, the feel to know when to run it. Man, he can also sling a quick, compact, accurate release. I can't wait to watch this guy's skill set unfold in the NFL. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. Tried to mix in a little wide receiver carry and catch this defense on its heels. We've seen it work time and again, and it almost got there. Without that tackle, we could have seen a big gainer. To give some credit to the defense where credit is due. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. I can promise you, that's not what it looked like on the practice field, nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. Able to find Ertz. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's a money down, and nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. And it's laid it down to approach here from the 40. First and 10 now. Here's Daniels. This is hauled in by McLaurin. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. His drive has been excellent. A few shots now, it's starting with six as they come up on it. First and goal. Working inside the red zone. The Mets got it. He's across the line for the Washington touchdown. The Commanders take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. So a picture-perfect way to begin this ball game, Brock. Their opening drive ends in six. Yeah, no question about it. That's how you do it. You work all week to script out the opening drive, and it's huge when it pays off like that. Austin Seibert on to try the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Commanders will jump out to a 7-0 lead.
Has this at the six. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. So here are the Eagles now for their first drive. They're let out by a QB coming into his fifth NFL season out of Oklahoma. It's Jalen Hurts. Kate, it's not often that we talk about quarterbacks having a nose for the end zone in football. It's usually reserved for the running backs. But Jalen Hurts has changed that conversation. He has so much power, so much strength. You get him into the short yardage situations around the goal line, he finds a way to get in. But it's not just there. He's got a deep ball that's the envy of many. He's elevated his teammates around him. And he's got a skill set that I know a lot of quarterbacks would sure love to have. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We spend so much time talking about an offense and how they script their first 15 plays typically. But how about that defensive coordinator, that head coach? Heck, every player on that sidelines, you couldn't script it any better. Well, other than maybe taking the ball away, creating a negative play, creating a sack, creating offense now behind the chains, that's exactly how you're looking to start. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the set. Bails out of the pocket quick. He's going to tuck it and run. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. He picks up 28 on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. From the pistol, Hurts. He's got Devontae Smith. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They run it with Saquon Barkley. And he'll fall his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. Second and six coming up here. Operating from the gun. Here's Hertz. He's got spin. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's a Philadelphia first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Straight ahead. Here's Barkley. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. play. They give it to Barkley. And he is in the end zone for a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles finish off their opening drive. Saquon Barkley, the touchdown. For the offense, you gotta love it, Brock. Points to begin the game as he runs it in for an opening drive touchdown. And you've got one very happy running back right over there on the sideline right now. These backs, they do feel the pressure to find the end zone every single week. It's not easy to do. But to do it this early and get it out of the way, big time. Now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Eagles start off well with tight things, 7-7. set 
for the kickoff. Return starts at the three. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Here comes the Washington offense out to the field, ready for their second drive. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that went to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. On target to his man Zacchaeus. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help. Second and three now. Robinson on the inside give. And he's brought down for a loss. You know, Kate, during draft season, I was talking to an NFL GM, and he said, you know what, in time, we're going to realize tackles for loss are just as big a deal as sacks. Sacks get so much of the popularity. Tackles for loss, when you knock that offense backwards, I promise you, in time, you can keep with a closer eye on plays like that one. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. They gain 14 on the play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. New set of downs for him from the 46. On first down, here's Daniels. He's on the move. He can run it. An excellent game. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. Well, I can tell you what, that was the goal from the moment he took off. Kept his eyes locked on the chains and made sure he set them up with a new set of downs. Well done. They're set up at the 35 now. First carry now for Austin Eckler. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. That's Nolan Smith there for the stop. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. Sure, a whole lot of noise to sort through up the middle, but by the time he figured everything out, he was able to hit them for a decent game. Half right in the marker. It's second and five. On the gun, it's Robinson. Looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Zach Vaughn with the tackle. Third and a lone yard coming up. Now the shotgun gives to Eckler. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Yeah, I get it. Fans will measure running back's merit by touchdowns, yards, the fantasy football world we live in. But his coaches and teammates, Kate, they want something a little bit more. They want to see plays like that. A guy who will always get the short yards in a critical spot like that. They'll keep this drive moving and come alive for first and ten. Has it down close. Touchdown, Washington. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock, and they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. Seibert now to add the extra point. Oh, 
Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Commanders take the lead here, 14-7 in the first. touchdown here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap for Hurts. Goddard makes the catch. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Hurts now from the gun. Flushed out of the pocket. Now he takes it. And then bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. All right, here we go. Second down. Throwing here. Hurts. Completed over the middle. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century. And it's a play... It works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. All plays on the table here for third and three. Back now, pressure on its way. Throwing the out route complete. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. New set of downs for him from the 46. First and 10, here's Hertz. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Hurts throwing again. That pass complete to Goddard. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Third and just two to go. Hurts looking to throw. This one finds Goddard. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. That's good for seven yards. And that's good for an Eagles first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They're running the option, short side. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. 
You know, games that seem a little tougher to get against a front, gosh, this QB just makes routine. Such effortless running to pick up a handful on that designed run. One quarter down for these two NFC East teams. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to the link right after this. Ready now for our second quarter. The Eagles have the football. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. From the 28. Able to find Jackson here. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. They have themselves another first and ten. They kick the running back in motion. First down from the red zone. Escapes the puck. Pressure gets to him, and he goes down. That's a sack. We do have a marker down. But where it's at on the field, partner, that sure looks like it's in the neighborhood of holding. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. Double the distance to go after that holding call. It's now first and 20. Hurts setting up to throw. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. When coaches discuss their favorite plays of a game, I guarantee you this one's going to be on it. Not just because of the catch, but because of the effort to go lay out and bring in an off-target throw. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Hurts to throw. He's on the move. This time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. Third and four coming up now. to throw hurts wow very quick throw but they couldn't connect so many coaches love third downs and they practice them so much kate why because they're the money down in the nfl whether it's a close game already out of hand coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs so on fourth down on comes the eagles kicker jake elliott for the try a 27 yard look here and it is good. No problems there on the shorter attack. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. In that close, kicks have to be automatic. That won't stop the head coach, though, from holding his breath for a couple seconds until he sees it's up and good. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Returning it from the four. This return makes it up to the 25. The Commanders and Terry McLaurin ready for another look on offense. Starts out with a first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. It was Reed Blankenship making the stop. Second and six coming up here. 
from the 29. Buccaneers are holding it up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This is a time where you get in that huddle and you just look at one another and say, hey, let's get back in rhythm. Get back in rhythm. Get something good to feel good about. Sure, you'd love to get the first down, but more than anything, just find a positive play after a huge sack. You lock things down in coverage. You do everything right on the back end. You want to see the quarterback escape, evade the pressure, and get that first down anyway. Oh. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. First and 10 now. Here's Daniels. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. First time this game, they've looked to him. And it sets up second down. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. On second down, Robinson. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. reaching the 43 and that one goes for a gain of 11 and the commanders will have a first it was university of wisconsin cake the first time i heard this term slow to explode through and think how good that badgers run game has been at the college level well they made runs like that look easy slow to explode through completed here to mccaffrey Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Jacoby Dean in on the tackle. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Second and four. That's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact. It gets home. But, of course, we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball okay hand it to him and he sniffed out that first down get it to him on a screen and it's no different he surges ahead and keeps this drive moving that one falls to the turf couldn't hang on it's incomplete oh that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play Kate got the man open beat the coverage but then you gotta go finish it you gotta go make that catch I will say Keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. On second and ten now. Daniels. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. He was doing all he could to find a completion down the field. But they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. 
Let's see what they went with on third down. Throwing now, Daniels. We've got a screen to the running back. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. turns into a three-point play. It's why situational work is so critical. Coaches talk about it all the time. Sure, you love the field goal, but man, they would have loved to touch down more. They're out and set. First and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Hertz. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. That was a situation where he got the time in the pocket he needed. There just wasn't anyone open to throw it to. It got to the point he had two choices as that clock is going off in his head. Force to throw and risk a pick or just get rid of it and cut your losses on the play. On second down, here's Barkley. And he works through a lane for a gain up to the 30. They get about four there, need a little more than that now on third and six. to reject that one and that makes it fourth down any db prefers a highlight real interception and just forcing an incomplete pass but as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play well, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed hunter takes the field on fourth down and he sends this one flying and a fair catch made without incidents just inside the 25. no return on that punt and the Commanders will go on offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. The tight end going in motion right. First and ten, a runner Robinson. We'll have him gain about a handful there. It was Reed Blankenship making the stop. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five.
Well, it's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. A fresh set of downs after that penalty. Here's first and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Fires right away, but incomplete. This one misses the tight end. And now they face second down. Daniels from the pistol. That throw comes up short. Need a little more muscle on that one. That was Terry McLaurin on the target. And things look tougher now with third and long. Again, Daniels to the air. His second scoring catch of the game. To rock this offense, looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Seibert now to add the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Commanders double their lead to 14. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Eagles ready to set up shop on offense. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Starting on the ground here with Barkley. He's able to drive that pile about a yard. Give that tackle to Johnny Newton. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. I've talked to running backs over the years, Kate, in the transition from the college game to the pro game. They'll tell you, there's just times in the NFL you got to run into darkness. You run into a lot of bodies. Perfect example of that in the first down play. Shotgun snap for Hertz. He's got Smith. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down, a run with Barkley. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. It's the two-minute warning now from the link. The Eagles at a deficit. Offense to the line for second down. From the pistol, Hurts. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like the 40-yard line. So now here's third and five.
Kurt snap from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's a Philadelphia first down. This running back is a mismatch maker. <laughs> that's how I label him on my little sheet right here. Right under his bio, this guy just creates matchup nightmares for every defender on the field. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Back now, pressure on its way. Barkley's got it. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, <laughs> it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Eagles hustling everyone back to the line. Hurts throwing again. It stops him on the catch. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Eagles hustling everyone back to the line. On third down, it's Hurts. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. You've got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. Great man on the punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. And this is the punt you want every time. He bounces out of bounds and sticks him inside their own 10. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels heading out for their next look on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Daniels, able to find Ertz, and they bring him down here at about the 13-yard line. The Commanders take a timeout, so they're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the gun, it's Daniels. Finds a seam down the middle. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Daniels on first down. Has him on the quick hitter. And they're going to touch him down after a short pickup. Washington calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second down now, seven to go. Daniels. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Josh Sweat making the stop. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Motioning him from the slot right. Third down give to Robinson. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. it. 
Commanders punting on fourth down, and they're going to bring out the ever-reliable lefty Vets, Tressway. And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. Now that brings us to the midway point of this one. The Commanders enjoying a nice little lead here on the road. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. Philadelphia has its offense out to start this third quarter. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Hurts looking to throw. That's Smith on the slant. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Thank you, Louvu, there for the tackle. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Barkley trying this up the gut. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. to throw hurts this one finds goddard and he has it to the 42 before they make the stop nice spot here for the offense it's second and one from the 42 Fails out of the pocket quick. He's going to keep it this time. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Running it after the penalty. And he takes it up and across midfield to Commander's territory. Three yards the pickup. Now it's third and eight. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Here's Hertz. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he's able to get this down to the 36. He had to pick up a 14 yards as the chains reset. When a play breaks down, every once in a while, you got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on that ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that one. First down, ball at the 36. Straight ahead, here's Barkley. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. 
Mark Slayer, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. From the 32, he'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. And I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers. It's awesome with tight ends. But when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. Couldn't connect with Dallas Goddard. And that'll bring up second down. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Hurts to throw. So a pass brought in. And he gets in. Touchdown, Philadelphia! The Eagles cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. So he looks to and finds the big fella, and his tight end takes it in for six. Such a reliable weapon down in the red zone. It kind of reminds me like a point guard making an entry pass to that post player. Mm. When you trust your big people around you, and when a quarterback trusts his tight end like that, it makes a difference. Elliott on now to attempt a point after. Right down the middle, it's good. of some of the highlights of this game is touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. They're out and set. First and ten. Start the drive with Eckler. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. some yards to set up an easier second down play but they will take that execution every time man in motion here shotgun snap a give to robinson and they'll bundle this up after a four-yard game cooper to gene with the stop giving four that time so six to go on second down Daniel 
Daniels out to play action. And he doesn't see a winner he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And it brings up third down. There was almost no resistance offered against the rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap to Daniels. And they go big on the ground. And this one does not go far. Just not much to do right there, whether he wanted to run it or throw it. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win for this defense. The Commanders ready for the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Now 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. Fair catch hauled in at the 18-yard line. The Eagles and Saquon Barkley ready to take over once again. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Eagles will be backed up a good bit to begin the drive. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap for Hertz. On the left side. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, I know it's tough to evaluate when you're playing at game speed when there's chaos all around you. But if he looked around, I'm not sure that's a throw he would make again. Even one of the biggest targets, the big old tight end, couldn't fight back to the line of scrimmage. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. They'll couple together a yard there. And he will move there for the tackle. He gets them a yard back, but still behind the sticks. Upcoming third and 11. Running back sent in motion. Here he is on third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. Great looking catch, but he lost track of that sideline and went out of bounds. We've got fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, you've got to give your man enough space to make that catch inbounds. That was off just enough to carry him to the sideline before he could establish possession. The Eagles are in punt formation. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. His offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Second down now, seven to go. From the 36. catch up to him but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down that one goes for 25 yards and the commanders will have a first nice to see that connection that chemistry working between the two of them new set of downs for him at the 38 First and ten now. Here's Daniels. They said they're going to get there, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. 
Keith, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Trying again, following the set. And he won't get it there. Defender finds a throw and breaks it up. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU, but as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throwing now, Daniels. He's on the move. Stays upright. You know, that may have been a situation when you look back on it and he watches the tape the next day. And he's got to find a way to throw the ball because his running ability, while it gets him some yards, is not enough to get the first down. Punty muted out now. It'll be Tress Way doing the honors. And he can't hurt you with the return if you just kick it out of bounds, right? So this one flies out right around the 15-yard line. The Eagles about set to go on offense. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Hurts now from the gun. Has a man, it's Brown. And he's gonna be brought down after getting this up to the 22. Second and three now. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy, a lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. First down throwing for Hurts. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. A give to Barkley. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. These aren't the plays that will lead highlight reels, but they're the ones that win you ball games. What a nice game by the back. And now his offense can go in any number of directions on first and 10. First and 10 from the 41. Throwing here, Hurts. Held in by Gunner, left side. And he goes out, just needed one more step there to reach midfield. You've heard that very common term in draft vernacular called catching radius. Let me tell you, as a quarterback, you love tight ends on drag routes because that catching radius for such a big target, then you see him, you eye him, and there's a comfort level between QB and tight end to make that connection. So we hit the end of the third quarter. It's the Eagles in possession to start. They trail, but that lead is reachable. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now Hurts. He's behind Smith. And he'll have it down to the 44 yard line. They get six and a first down as well. Move the chains. Gotta move the chains. Build momentum to keep that defense on its 
its heels. On the 44-yard line now, first and ten. They'll empty the backfield and motion him out. From the pistol, Hurts escapes the... They said they're going to get there, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Final quarter. This quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra, try to make something happen outside the pocket. The problem? <laughs> Defense wouldn't let them. They have that same kind of urgency. They want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers. And they got one right there with that sack. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. Able to get it to Barkley. And he's going to be across midfield, close to the 45 before going out. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. And for the Commanders, a fifth defensive back out there. They're going nickel on third down. They kick the running back in motion. Now Hurts on third and long. Flushed out of the pocket. And the Commanders get home. They drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Awareness. That's what I call it, Kate. Awareness. you got to have a game awareness and understand the situation. Third and long? You should never take a sack. Put the ball in play or throw it away, but don't take a sack in that situation. So out now comes the punter. Braden Mann will kick it away. This one carries out of bounds. Not the greatest field position awaiting them. It's spotted at the 11. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And this certainly isn't the rut they want to be in, Brock. All of their drives have been ending in punts as of late. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Out of the gun, Daniels. And oh, he drops it. He had all the space in the world, Brock. He got behind the defense. And he just looked away before he brought it in. A big missed opportunity. Looking for his wide receiver there. And it's going to be second down. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. And anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. And the Burrs bring out the nickel. Look, third down coming up. He gets it out left, and it's caught. And it'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. It's a gain of four. And that'll be good for a Washington first. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. All right, set now, first and ten. Robinson on the inside give. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looked like a first for a moment. It's second and one. From the 34, got his target, Zacchaeus. And he's brought down for a loss. You'll hear defensive coaches all the time really ask their players to pull the trigger. Read, react, diagnose, and when you see it, go fire away. And that's exactly what the defense does to take away that screen. Again, okay, left side, here's Robinson. And he's dropped to just short the marker, maybe a yard away. Yeah. 
And punter making his way out now. And he's going to try to give his defense a long field to defend. And he'll have this fair catch right along the 25. Philadelphia's offense back out for another drive. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Option play. They give it to Barkley. And he'll ball his way in for a four-yard pickup. Second and six coming up here. Here's another carry for Barkley. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down, but instead they move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. First down, and they go right back to it. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Now might be a good spot to remind everybody, about for the thousandth time, how much better athletes these D tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now, they eat up running backs. All right, here we go. Second down. Changing things up. They're going to throw now. Completed left side to Smith. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. Okay, that was on the field, the young high school quarterback, just last week. And I told him one of the greatest attributes a quarterback can have is courage. And it takes courage to sit in that pocket that long, let a play develop, and let that receiver work all the way from one side of the field to the other and give him a chance to make a play. Hurts with it on third and short. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. They go with Barkley here. And they bring him down quickly, but he does have it across the 40. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. From the 38. He's on the move. He's keeping it. And he's able to get this down to the 36. It's one of those situations, not much to be had there, no matter what he did with the ball. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win and a confidence builder for this defense. Third and six for them to figure out now. Looking to throw. Forced out to his right. He's running for it. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up the first and goal. Oh, that just sucks the wind out of the defense. So demoralizing. So many guys do things the right way, only to see a quarterback evade the pressure and they get that first down anyway. They can decide to play for the tire win later. First, they've got to reach that end zone. It's first and goal. It's an option to the left side. And he gets in. Touchdown. The Eagles now trail by just a point in the fourth. Jalen Hurts with a 
one touchdown. My partner up here is pumping his fist after that one. That is how you run an option as a quarterback. Good read to hang on to it and do it himself. Yeah, because I could never do that, not even close. <laughs> but when the defense overplays and you run that option, you get that good two-on-one, more times than not, they will commit to the more dangerous guy, the running back. But you leave a lane, this quarterback can do some damage as well. On for the PAT, and a make would tie us up late. The kick is good, so this game now hinging on every possession as we're tied up in the fourth. set for the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Snap to Daniels. Got a man. McCaffrey has it. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 32. McLaurin on the quick slant. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. So many times, they're really designed, Kate, for chunk plays in my double digits, and they nearly got it there. On the gun, it's Daniels. Finds his target, Robinson. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Philly. Commanders pushing to get within range for a game winner. They're set up at the 35 now. Daniels on first down. The first down pass set away by a defender incomplete. Read and react, read and react, read and react. Now the read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and you've got to react as he begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing now. Heaves this one for the back of the end zone. Too far out of the back of the end zone. It goes incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. That's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Defensive coaches in the NFL say it all the time. Limit the big play. Keep these guys in front of you. Well, this defense is going to have to stay vigilant because this receiver, he can take the lid off the defense at any time. And wishing the slot man right. Third down, give to Robinson. And without much room, he's going to go down to the 
32-yard line. Timeout taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. So a big kick coming up for Austin Seibert. It was money on his first field goal, Brock. His second coming a little inside of 50 yards. That one is good! And late in the fourth, they have grabbed the lead. That's called getting this job done, Kate, drilling it right through. And now they're in position to win this game. Now it's on some of those guys who are out there with them on the kick, those defenders, to hang on to this lead to give them the win. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Now to throw. Able to find Dotson here. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Eagles hustling everyone back to the line. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. That one gains seven. And that's good for an Eagles first down. As much as you like to find a completion and get the ball out of your hands, when a play breaks down, you've got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on his ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that. Trying to push it deep downfield. And this is going to end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. He was looking for Dallas Goddard there. And now it's second down. to use. Commanders with an extra DB out there to defend this third down. To throw. Escapes the pocket. And he got there in time. He's taken down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, I can already read the headlines tomorrow. This offensive line can't protect. This offensive line, this offensive line. But it's more than that. When you give up five sacks in a game, it's a complete breakdown of everybody offensively. Play caller, quarterback, offensive line. Yeah, they're going to have to regroup and figure out how to protect this quarterback first and foremost. That's incomplete on fourth down. You go for it on fourth down, it's got to be something from the short list of plays you expect to work every time. If that one's on the short list, I think it's got to be reevaluated. Something wasn't working on it, and it cost them the possession. Into the victory formation, they go Bronx here on first down. Commander's breaking out the victory formation here as he goes to a knee. So a timeout's taken, just five seconds left. And after the pause, we're going to see our last play of the game. And the 
kneel down here and they can start to celebrate this win. With a win in hand, they'll take the knee and let this clock run out. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So it's a win on the road for the Commanders. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And, Kate, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one-possession game that's not about how you start. It's all about how you finish.